Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Sunana Ganyubi Achama. Today, I want to share with you five things that I've learned from my Muslim brothers and sisters. I get a lot of people asking me if I'm Muslim. I'm not Muslim, but my mother is. So my mother was a Christian. No, my mother was a Muslim before she married my father and she became... I have aunties and uncles who are Muslim. So my cousins from my mother's side, they are all Muslims. I celebrate both sunlight Christmas and that's one advantage. But no, I'm not here to talk about this today. I'm here to talk about five things that I've learned from my Muslim brothers and sisters and working with Muslims. Number one, Muslim ladies have taught us that you don't have to expose yourself to look hot sex and oh my god muslim ladies would typically just cover their hair their legs their hands and still look hot so you don't have any excuse exposing your skin just trying to look hot number two is loyalty if you've been with muslims okay you know how loyal they are even when it comes to their religion a muslim will never allow anyone speak against the holy book of the holy quran the prophet muhammad or allah never and when they're your friend they're always going to stick by you no matter what three is hypocrisy muslims are not hypocrites trust me they are not a muslim man says that i cannot stay with one woman hence i will marry more women and that's it that's what the religion allows and i think like even aside that there are people who are very blunt like i just love how you know real they are number four i'm gonna say it under tone if you have any muslim lady let her teach you how to wash after using the washroom like after peeing it is a game changer for ladies i'm not gonna shout but if you practice washing after peeing all the time do i Nadi, Nadi Kichimi, Nadi, Nadi Daddy, Nadi Kyo. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm going to share with you my three favorite Arabic words. Number one is Isha Allah. Like, like Isha Allah. I don't know, but like, I like it. Isha Allah. The second one is Masha Allah. And then the last one is Alhamdulillah. I don't know, like Isha Allah. Like, Isha Allah go bikaji. And there's, ah, oh, Masha Allah. And then, ah, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I know the meaning of like, Isha Allah is, may the will of God prevail. Uh, Masha Allah is.